Hi fitness friends, this is Coach Stacy. Today we'll be splashing away the calories with our aqua buoy workout. And this first section is going to be using two buoys. Remember that equipment is always optional. We're going to use two buoys to get started in pyramid number one. So for pyramids, we're going to be doing them in a declining interval style. So what we'll do is we'll start with 60 seconds, then 40 seconds, then 20 seconds. We will do each exercise three times per cycle. Let's begin. With your buoys in an upright position, we're going to just start alternating right and left. Push this forward of those buoys as you're punching right and left, shoulders relaxed and down. Now, option number one would be just a jog with these here. Option number two, we're going to go a little bit more intensity, and we're going to add some small kicks forward. So you're going to kick those legs right and left in front of you. Now, first interval is going to be 60 seconds. So pick which works for you, and let's go for it. And I want to make sure as we're moving, we're tucking in those tummies, keeping the shoulders relaxed and down, and doing some strong breathing. Okay, you guys, let's see it. For about 15 seconds out to our next exercise. Nice job. Let's set up for exercise two. So we're gonna start bringing the right foot forward for a right rocking horse. So think about the right foot forward a little bit. That means right knee up, left foot's gonna do a butt kicker. We're gonna start with the arms open and the palms facing forward. Once you get that rocker started, we're gonna start bending those elbows. So I want you to bend on the lean forward and extend on the lean back, bend and extend. So we're gonna be doing a bicep curl and a tricep extension there. So think about the shoulders relaxed and down. We have those tummies tucked in and a really good engagement of those arm muscles. All right, have fun. Keep going, just about 20 seconds. Great job, jog it out. Take your feet into a wider stance and these are gonna turn into jack legs. So keep your arms out into a T shape here. And I want you to start from wide feet and you're gonna tuck those knees in narrow. So tuck knees narrow, wide feet down to the floor and then tuck na narrow. Now option to add arms for doing a little clap down towards the legs. You can tuck underneath the legs or just tap those legs here. So think about really strong abdominals with this one. Now to add a little bit more intensity to it, we're going to tuck, then clap, then open, then tuck, then clap, then open, then tuck, then clap, then open. So we're gonna just change up the arms. It's a little brain tease, and then a little extra for the upper body. Choose whichever variation works to challenge you most today. Ten seconds. Great job. Now, we're going to repeat those three exercises that we just did. So we're going to go into now an interval of 40 seconds because we're at that decline. So get those arms punching forward right and left. 
you can either jog it out or you can do those kicks forward, right, and left. No matter what you do, I want you to think about gauging your tummy muscles, staying really strong, and keeping those shoulders down. Finish it up and great. So we're going to take it to those arms out to the sides. The palms are going to face forward, shoulders relaxing down. You have the left knee coming up for the rocker and then the right butt kicker. And we're going to change this into bicep triceps. So make sure you bend, extend at those elbows. You bend on the lean back, you extend on the lean forward. Just one or two more. Okay, take it to a jog. Now relax your shoulders, relax those hands for a second. Now, let's take those arms out to a T-shape and get ready to do those jack legs. We're gonna start wide with the legs and you're gonna tuck in narrow. So I want you to tuck those knees in together in the center. Now remember, you can stay with just those leg tucks or you can add more of a jack to it with the clap down and the clap in front. So it's gonna be tuck, open, clap, open, tuck, open, clap, open, tuck, open, clap, open with the jack legs the whole time. Have fun figuring this one out. Did you get it? I've been trying to get you to think a little bit more with these. It's good for the brain power as much as it is for the muscles. Okay, we're moving now into a 20 second interval. So punch forward, right, left in either a jog or those kicks forward, right, and left. It's only 20 seconds, so let's challenge ourselves. Finish up and then start bringing forward your non-dominant foot. I want you to do your rockers on your non-dominant side. So remember, you're gonna do a bicep tricep here. So you're gonna curl up on the lean back. You're gonna extend down on the lean forward. Try to let those buoys not come out of that water. Keep them underneath the surface. And our last time with those knee tucks, start in the wide stance, T arms, tuck in the center, tap down. Remember, you can always clap those legs and then clap in front, or you can just clap the legs. However you wanna work this one, like I said, I'm trying to get you to use that brain power. You only have about five seconds left. Hang in there. And cycle one complete. Let's have a little rest of those hands and shoulders. Grab a sip of water, pause if you need to. Pyramid number two is coming up soon. Pyramid two starts with the sexy walk for your agitator abs. So you're gonna just take those buoys from the right to the left as you're gonna do a walk. So you're gonna cross over your midline with that walk. So it's that sexy walk to work through the mid of the body. And we're gonna take those arms in the opposition of those legs. Now this is low impact version. And if you want a little bit more, you're gonna put those feet together and we're gonna do a torque so twist. So once you put the feet together and rotate right and left, the buoys go in opposition of the leg. You're about halfway, 30 seconds to go.
Okay, let's go into now some butt kickers. So those are heels up behind you on the right and the left. And we're gonna try to angle them in just a little bit there. And as you do, I want you to think about punching forward, right and left, and try to go across the body. So this is level one, going across the body at the surface. If you want a little bit more, I want you to start angling them down across the body towards the floor, punching down. Make sure shoulders stay relaxed with this one. Try to think good, strong posture. Keep your tummy engaged. Fifteen seconds. Okay, now for our third exercise of this cycle, we are going to plunge those buoys down towards the pool bottom and we're gonna do a hip abduction. Now, low impact versions can be four on the right and four on the left. Option for the buoys at the surface also. Plunging them down to get a little bit more core work. Or here, you're gonna plunge them down and we're gonna hop out those legs right and left in a jack. So I just want you to jack out and in, out and in. And I want you to do nice and quick with these. Try to think about keeping your middle as strong as possible. Shoulders relaxing down and trying not to move that middle. So. No movement from the middle. Keep everything solid except those legs out and in. Wonderful. Now rest those hands for a moment and get ready for that sexy walk again. So now we're in that 40 second interval starting here in just a moment. So again, you either step over right, then left, and step over right, left. The hands are in opposition of the surface or feet are together and we hop right to left with the arms going the opposite direction for a torso rotation. So either version is good for that middle. It's gonna make you stronger. I just want you to stay with that most upright posture. Now for a little bit more resistance, we're gonna turn those buoys sideways in the water so that way we have more resistance. Upright version is gonna be a little less resistance. One more. And let's take that back into some butt kickers. Remember, you're trying to angle them in a little bit, so try to do a little angling behind you. Remember, you can stay at the surface here for those punches, or if you can, take them down towards the floor. Remember, strong through your middle. Try to get those heels up high behind. Okay, make this your last one there. And then again, buoys at the surface or you can plunge them down. Just make sure you use good posture. And then either hip abduction to the right four times, then to the left four times, or we're gonna go to those jack legs with the plunge forward. So it's a little bit more intensity. Push down, keep your core solid, and then just jack the legs out, in, out, in. And I want nice and 
strong and quick. So make it quick, keep those toes forward. Are you feeling those thighs yet? I hope so, because that's my goal. All right, we're moving into that sexy walk or the torso rotation hops. Now we're into only a 20 second interval, so there's not a lot of time here, so do your best, challenge yourself. Let's bring those heels up behind us. Try to angle them in. Get yourself ready for those punches forward. Right and left with those punches or punch to the floor. 20 seconds, not very much time. Give it your all. into our last one so either hip abduction to the right and left with a plunge forward I want one on each side or I want the jack legs open and closed keep the plunge down keep your solid core keep the shoulders relaxed just think quick movement We finish pyramid cycle number two. Let those hands have a rest. Let those wrists have a rest. Get a big sip of water. Now you can either do a warm down and stretch on your own or find my part two. You should see a link here. And we're going to do the same format, but we'll be only using one buoy. So get yourself some rest. Come on back as soon as you're ready. Just bring one buoy with you. Find part two of my splashing the calories away and don't forget if you like and enjoy my workouts please like them subscribe and share with your friends it helps me to keep these videos free for you to work out too